And then learning after the past couple games, you see kind of change in and how is he playing more confident? Uh, I think you know, coach told him, you know, get everybody else shots, and then you just start seeing things open up for yourself. And I think that's what you know what's happened. And, you know, we keep telling them, you know, just keep keep making plays, but at the same time, look for look for yourself and going. You know, you see you got a few layups at the end there, and you know, made a made a big three for us. So I think you know, just for him to keep you know attacking, being himself. I wondered if the learning experience at the end of the first half included you contested that dunk. I wondered if the coaches thought, boy, you almost fouled him or they could have called a foul. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Break that, but so. Kel has talked a lot about you making sure that you and Kel contribute when you're not, your shots aren't falling in other ways. How much has that helped you as you kind of waited for one of these offensive players? Uh, no, it's good. I feel like, you know, just ever since I got here, my game has got more complete. Um, as far as you know, just being on the defensive end, um, just rebounding, getting steals, anticipating, and stuff like that. So the coaching staff has really helped me in that, in that uh, particular area, just you know, getting better on defense. And I just, you know, just, Tyler, this is Martin. How much of those feet off these two really guys? It was a great experience. Um, I felt like, you know, we came here every time, you know, yesterday when we got here, that you could feel that we were really focused and uh, trying to get this W. So I think, um, you know, just continue to keep that focus and feet off, you know, everything from each other. And I in order to get to where you can be Carolina neutral floor and get a real game like this, did you guys have to sort of get over what happened against you? Uh, yeah, we've been over that new game for a while. But, but, it, but it was part of the process of getting to you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, we had to get a big win like North Carolina and then come here to get a big road game like this. It was, you know, it was, it was real important. But I feel like offensively, your shot is really coming together this last time. Um, just, you know, just staying in the gym, focusing, getting my shot right. Um, at the beginning of the season, the coach wanted me to get my shot off quicker and stuff like that. So I think it's, just, it's all a process, like he's, been, like he's been saying. So we're just getting ready for March and continue to get better every day. Cal said he was a little surprised about how you all were able to create off the dribble, you and Kelly. <laughs> uh, how has that kind of changed your offense here the past few weeks? Um, he, you know, it kind of made it more of a dribble drive motion with me, Kelly, and Ash and being able to attack and then, you know, Read in the post inside. I think you know, that's a big, big thing for us. But with, with how our spacing is, we've you know, created more space and opportunities for each other to drive. How the shooters keep shooting even when they're not making them. Yeah. Was there a point in the season when you ever were reluctant to shoot the ball? Uh, no, I try to not let that happen. I mean, you know, like you said, shoot or shoot, score, try to score, and I'll just go out there and do my thing. Were you tired of hearing people say though that like yeah. he's supposed to be a shooter? Why isn't he making shots? Yeah, um, I know you guys probably seen the Clay Thompson thing where he said, you know, there's not many better shoot, shooters better than him. So I mean, I kind of think in that regards, you know, just going out there, I put the time and effort in my game, so I know, you know, I'm just keep shooting. Just keep talking about how beneficial this has been for you guys. How how beneficial? Is that? Uh, good. Um, without class, you know, you know, most schools were probably sleeping in until. So, so practice, but I think, you know, we come in here every day, get up, you know, 8.30, you know, 9, get in, get a practice, you know, take a nap, come back and practice again, and then get some, you know, spend some time with each other at night. I think that's just, you know, brought us together. And, you know, he said at the beginning of the, when we started this, you know, you'll see how close and you know, how much better we get throughout the process. Did you kind of know your shot was going to work, you know, from that first one, the first one you made? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I was in a rhythm ever since the warm-up. But, uh, I feel like my shots are work all the time. Ashton seems to be gaining a lot more confidence offensively. Is that, do you see that from him in practice? And, and how much better can you guys be when he is confident? Yeah, um, you know, you know, with him, you know, being playing downhill and getting to the, getting to the bucket, you know, he does. It's incredible for us. Um, I think, you know, what he did tonight, and, you know, what he did against North Carolina, we're starting to see what Ashton is really about, and you know what he's capable of. Doing.